Hey, it's me, Cheryl. Everybody's been doing the peekaboo t-shirts and my uh, cousins are in a track meet this weekend, so I decided I'm gonna try it out. And I got this uh, fabric, 100% polyester. It's pretty thin, but we're in Texas, so it's hot, so. I'm gonna sublimate two of them. This is my image. These are the cousins. And after that, I'll put it on the t-shirt. So I got the heat and bond from Hobby Lobby 249. I got a whole yard of fabric. It was actually 30% off. So one yard was $3.50. Let's get started. Go to the heat press and press it up. Okay, put the fabric down. Give it a quick little press. It's supposed to get all the moisture out and I like for it to get all the wrinkles out too. I don't think it's anything on here, but I'm gonna give it a little lint roll. Now, here's the image. I'm gonna put it in the center so I have room to put the heat bond and stick it to the shirt. I probably might have wanted to make sure it's straight. It's curling up on me. looks pretty straight here we go 385 60 seconds so I paused most of the time for a pressing because we don't need to sit here and watch it count down from 60 Okay, let's see how it looks. Woo! And this is my sublimation paper. I don't have it uh, logoed or anything. This came out pretty. It's dark. But it's pretty. Let's do one more and then we'll get ready to do the heat and bond. Okay, I always gotta be different. So what I'm gonna try to do is put the image on the shirt and then cut it so I got that lined up where I want it slide it up just a little bit so it fits okay let me cut some of this heating bond off of here is about that long. About right there. Let's see. Good. 
measure out the sides. So I forgot to put the lapel microphone back on and I lost uh, audio for this part, but I'm uh, actually for the rest of the video. So I'm trying to do a voiceover and I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but here goes. Right now I am trying to pinch the middle of the shirt and separate it from the sublimation fabric and cut a few slits down the middle so I can stick the scissors in and cut across. Unfortunately, I'm not in frame at the moment, but I will figure that out and slide over to where you can see what I'm doing. One day I will remember to Put the camera sideways so I can get the wide format and take up the whole screen. Remember, I'm new to YouTube, so I'm doing the best I can. I guess things get better with practice. And the more videos I do, probably the better they'll be. And uh, sorry I haven't uploaded anything for a long time. I've done some videos. I'm going to get them published um, sooner or later, but... Um, I hadn't gotten it done. Of course, the audio is screwed up. So if this voice over goes good, I'll do the other ones and upload them to YouTube so you can see it. And then I'll start making some new ones. Okay, so here I am cutting the slits and then cutting across. And I think it worked out pretty good by putting the image, um, attaching the image to the shirt inside the shirt first and then cutting the slits. That way I, I, I make sure I don't go over too far and, you know, you got a little bit more control. So once I do this side, I'll flip it around and do the other side. Here we go. And finish it up. Once I finish all the slits, I will stretch them so that they look more like a rope or string. And that'll be it. Maybe I'll even go back and cut some slits in the back so I can get a breeze on my back while we outside, the track and field, catch a breeze. It's hot outside. I think this is pretty cool though. Okay, just about done. A few more slits and I can start stretching. Okay, here we go. Look at that stretch is so pretty. This shirt is a um, poly cotton shirt, and um, let's see what else. That's about it. I just hope this voiceover comes out good. Almost done. There we go, it's finished. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Until the next time, love and peace, peace and love.